Hello everyone. This is my eighth video on sport diagnosis. Today I am going to show you another rare case. So you can see the image of the patient who is having the characteristic skin lesion over the face. Similarly, she is also having the characteristic lesions over the face. So you can see these lesions are well defined, brown, black in color, and nodular, and present over the forehead. over the upper eyelid and also present over the nose cheeks and even over the chin but is sparing the lips and these characteristic nodular brown color well defined lesions are present in the shape of butterfly sparing the lips and present over the forehead upper eyelid and nose and cheeks and over the chin similarly she is also having the same distribution and same characteristic brown color nodular lesion over the face so what will be the clinical diagnosis on the basis of these characteristic skin lesions so on the basis of this characteristic pattern of the distribution and characteristic skin lesions the diagnosis will be facial angiofibromas so these are the facial angiofibromas in which condition this characteristic lesions will be present the patient came to our opd with the main complaint of having the seizures so whenever a child is having the seizures with low iq with the facial angiofibroma as in our case label as a walk triad it is present in tuberous sclerosis child was having the generalized tonic clonic seizures since the one year of the life and also having the low iq mental retardation and characteristic skin lesion you can see over the face seizures start in first one year of the life in 90% patients also they are having the low iq mental retardation angiofibroma appears between 4 to 6 years of the age and initially may be as a red color nodules sometime confused with the pimples or acne and later on becomes brownish in color so this is the classical walk triad of the tuberous sclerosis which was present in our case other cutaneous lesions in the ts in 90% patient hypomelanotic macules present over the trunk and extremities these are ash leaf like hypomelanotic macular lesions and 20% patients also having the sagrin page in the lumbosacral region these are the elevated plaque like lesions and present hardly in the 20 to 30% cases this is characteristic of the tuberous sclerosis and they are the uh, raised lesion with the orange peel consistency present in lumbosacral region so other than facial angiofibroma these cutaneous lesions can also be present in tuberous sclerosis so in brief about the tuberous sclerosis or tuberous sclerosis complex it is a neurocutaneous disorder other than ts other neurocutaneous disorders are example neurofibromatosis sturge weber syndrome or von hippel lindau disease tuberous sclerosis also known as apiloia ap epi for the epilepsy loi for the low iq and a for the angiofibroma it is autosomal dominant due to the mutation of the gene tsc1 on chromosome 9 and tsc2 on chromosome 16 incidents are 1 in 10000 it is a multi system disorder involving the brain skin heart kidney eyes lung liver as hematoma or tumor like growth occur in all these organs in brain example cortical tuber subependymal nodules or giant cell astrocytoma in kidney renal angio myolipoma in lungs heart and in skin also various hematomas can occur so this is about the tuberous sclerosis thank you